scholar once narrated a story. He said, a man came to me and began to curse his mother. So I stopped him from that. I prohibited him from that. Then I asked him, what was her wrongdoing? What was her crime? He said, she ill-treated my wife. So I asked him, and how do you know? How do you know that she has said what you have said? My wife informed me this, said the man. But my mother denies this accusation. I said, subhanallah, glory be to Allah. You believe your wife, yet you doubt your own mother? The scholar then said, so I summoned the mother and she came with her older son. We sat and conversed for a long period of time. And I had a feeling that the wife was telling a lie due to seeing the honest tears of the mother proving her innocence. But the wife made an oath to Allah that she will not reconcile with the mother except within the sacred precincts of Masjid al-Haram in Mecca. So I ordered them all to travel to the sacred mosque in Mecca. The mother traveling with her older son while the man was traveling with his wife. When they arrived there, the mother prayed against her own self. The mother prayed against her own soul if she was in the wrong. And she prayed against her own son and his wife if she had been oppressed. The scholar goes on to say, After a while, the mother's older son came to me and informed me that subsequent to their arrival home, they heard information that his brother and his wife had died on the way back from Masjid al-Haram. Ikhwati fillah. Doesn't Allah say, وَلَا تَحْسَبَنَّ اللَّهَ غَافِلًا عَمَّا يَعْمَلُ الظَّالِمُونَ إِنَّمَا يُؤَخِّرُهُمْ لِيَوْمٍ تَشْخَصُ فِيهِ الْأَبْصَارِ Do you think that Allah is unaware of what the unjust people do? But He gives them respite up to a day where the eyes will stare in horror. So what then would be the case if the oppressed was our own mothers? What would happen if our mothers were the ones being dealt with unjustly? Her tears are enough to shake the throne of Allah and unsettle the angels in the heavens. How would we live with ourselves? If we have been so disobedient to our mothers and she prayed against us. Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said in a hadith, La yadhulu jannata aqun. The disobedient person to his parents will never enter paradise. O oh, Muslims, Know that everything in this world is possible of being replaced. If you divorce your wife or your husband, you will remarry another. If you have lost your children, Allah will bless you with more. If your wealth has decreased, you will work to earn more. But what if your mother has passed away? What if your mother has passed away? Nothing we do will ever bring her back. Nothing we give, nothing we sacrifice will ever allow us to spend one more moment with her. When was the last time we did something good for our mothers? When was the last time we surprised our mothers with a gift? When was the last time we sat with our mothers to have a chat and a laugh? When was the time, when was the last time we kissed and we hugged our mothers? 
When was the last time we thanked her and told her that we love her? For those of us whose mothers have passed away, then increase your dua for them and cry. Cry as though you have never cried before, for one of your gates to paradise has been forever closed. We will never again have the opportunity to please her and to do a good deed which will bring a simple smile upon her face. Our mothers were one of the greatest opportunities for us to enter paradise. And now that opportunity is gone forever. Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, Raghima anfu, thumma raghima anfu, thumma raghima anfu. Qila man ya Rasulullah, qala man adraka walidahu inda al-kibar, ahaduhuma aw qilahuma, thumma lam yadkhul al-jannah. May he be perished, may he be perished, may he be perished. The companions asked, who ya Rasulullah? He said, he who lives to see his parents, either one of them or both of them, but does not enter paradise. And if her grave is nearby, then visit her. Visit her grave. Take the time to visit her grave and make dua for her. Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam would visit the grave of his mother despite the fact that she was not a believer. The companions were used to seeing him cry. But one day he was sat next to a grave and weeping like never before. They said, Ma abkayka ya Rasulullah. What makes you cry ya Rasulullah? He sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, Inni istadantu rabbi fi ziyarati qabri ummi fa'adina li. Wa istadantuhu fil istighfari laha falam ya'dan li. I asked my Lord permission to visit my mother's grave. And he granted me permission. Then I asked him permission to forgive her, but he did not grant me permission. And for those of us whose mothers are still alive, for those of us whose mothers are still alive, when you go home, rush to her aid, rush to her aid and comfort her, and your prize shall be the paradise. Rush to her aid before a time will come whereby we will never again see her in the life of this world. And we wish, we wish we could just have one more moment with her to kiss her for the last time and say, Sammi hini ya ummi, please forgive me, O oh mother. <laughs>